Man, you know, when I got this glove right now, I had to take a deep breath. Man, this is, it, it, I get chills, you know, it, it's just so amazing. You know, see a glove like this and, you know, how far we come, we came with both of my sons, world champions, and uh, it just, I get sentimental, you know. To me, this means everything. It changed my life, it changed my whole family, you know. Yeah. So, and I'm sorry, you know, it just, it just it hits me on my heart, you know, it's like, bad. <laughs> You know, a glove to a fighter is everything. It's their future. It's everything they fight for. You know, I think it, it's 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 uh, it's dreams, it's hopes. You know, sacrifices. I think uh, it's, if you ask every any, uh, I mean every every fighter, they're they're gonna give you a different opinion. You know, but I, to me, it's just a lot of tears, blood, sacrifices, and uh, change of life. Well, it, it is a tool. I believe it's a tool. You know, that this is what they have to use. This is what they use to train. This is what they use to fight. It is a tool, but it's more than a tool. Like I say, it, it, it's, it's hopes and it's dreams, I think. You know, I never, I never you know, you're the first one, you know, that I, I, I tell, you know. I was, you know, and I, I've been training my son since they were junior, Jose Benavides, uh, since he was uh, five years old. I started training David Benavides, and his first fight was at three years old. So he started like around two years old, uh, you know. I. I did go to a gym when I was younger uh, just to defend myself, and I was a really bad fighter, you know, because I grew up in the streets, I had anger, I couldn't control my anger, and every time I wanted to hit somebody, I would ah, show them, and by the time I was going like this, I got hit and I got dropped. I, you know, I got hit in the liver, I got hit on uh, the chin, I, the temple, everywhere, and every time I went down. So to me, you know, it's not embarrassing for me to say that. I learned so much from it, you know, how to control yourself and stay paced and, you know, stay focused, you know. Everybody has a plan until they get hit. I, that's what I believe so, you know. I think, you know, even the greatest fighters, you know, uh, I don't think that they can become real good trainers. Uh, it, it, you just have to be super patient. And sometimes, you know, either you have that or you don't. You know, you could be a good fighter, but the patience of showing somebody that doesn't know nothing, and you get frustrated, you know? But it just takes time. You gotta understand that, you know? It takes time, repetitions, to become a good trainer. I, I wouldn't speak for, for them, you know? I mean, I, like I said, I had a, a, a style that did not work for me, you know? Um, I, I believe, you know, that nobody makes nobody, you know? I think you work on what you have. You know, you can't make a brawler a, a boxer. You can't make a, a boxer a brawler. But there's some fighters that you could that they like both, and you could do both. But I, I just think that you know you work on what you have and, and see what they have. For me, it takes like about a week or two, you know, to to see what they do, what they're good at, and then I could work on what they have and try to make it better. You know, I, I could try to make them, you know, tell them what to do, but sometimes they just don't get it. So why keep with it? Let's throw it away and try to do other things. Yeah, yeah, you know, th that's a good point. Uh, uh, that's why you, when you're training at the gym, you, uh, you practice what you want them to do in the ring. You know, because I've seen a lot of people, you know, a lot of people know about boxing. You know a lot about boxing, everybody does. The people that are in boxing, if you see a fight and somebody's getting hit, in your mind, you're like, man, why don't you move? You're getting hit. Dude, use your jab. Use your jab. But if you see, if you go to a gym, and, and next time that you go to a gym, go to a gym and see how often do they practice that jab. You don't really see that anymore. The body shots, you don't really see the body shots. But I guarantee you, if they, use the, if they work one or two rounds every day on the jab, guess what? They're going to be confident on their jab, and they are going to throw the jab. So when they go to the fights, that's why they don't throw the jab, because they don't practice that. And you see a lot of people head hunting. Mm -hmm. Why not go to the body? But that's where everything starts, at the gym. You got to practice those body shots. You got to practice, 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 in order for you to do that at the, at the fights. Because at the fights, you're only going there to shine. You already did the work. So the lights come on, and you just go in there and shine. That's what I believe. Uh, you know, I believe, you know, I, and people maybe are going to hate me for this, you know. 
thank God I made two world champions. Uh, and and, and I'm a, I, I learn every day. Every day I learn. I never stop learning. I'm always hungry to learn. Every day I learn something new. But I believe that when people say they were born with the punch, I, me, I, I don't believe that. And people, when people said that he was born talented, I don't think, I, I, don't, I don't think that. You work on, on sitting on your punches, on throwing a little bit faster. That's what I believe, that you work on it. Because if you see a lot of fighters, a lot of boxers, they throw punches, they throw punches, but they're not set to throw big shots. That's what I think, you know, that you work on, on, on knocking people out, knocking people out. You work on sitting on your punch, on turning and pivoting and generating all that power from, from the foot to the waist and the shoulders. That's what I believe. Yeah, you know, I, I, I believe, you know, I like old fighters. I like new fighters. If you talk to an old fighter, they're going to tell you their experience. You know, you're not, never going to win. It's like talking about the Bible, you know. You know, back then, they didn't have what the technology that's now, the strength and condition, the, the nutrition, and, and, and so many other different things, you know. Back then, there was none of that, you know. Um, and they were really good. I believe that now, Fighters are getting a little bit better, and, and they have more technology. I think uh, if you would have put a fighter now with the old fighter, it would be really different, you know? They wouldn't even compare because, like I said, you know, back then they only worked on what they had. And now they, they box, and there's more technology, there's more video, there's more stuff, more stuff to learn from, from the old guys, and make it better. So I think it, it has changed a lot for the better. That's what I believe. Man, boxing has given me everything. Took me out of the streets, gave me two champions now. Uh, it changed my whole life, you know. My two sons, you know, they're world champions. Uh, if it wasn't for boxing, I don't know what would I be doing. Because, you know, I was not doing that well. But I thought, you know, if I just spend a little bit of time with my sons, uh, that no money can buy. You know, but it just took me to another level. I never thought they were going to be champions. I never thought I would be talking to you. I never thought I would be uh, motivating kids. I never thought that I would be doing things that I'm doing now. So it changed my whole life, man. I would not change it for anything in the world, for no money in the world. But the whole point was, you know, to spend time with my kids. I had no parents when I grew up. My parents separated when I was like three years old. I always wanted to hug my mom. I always wanted to hug my dad, you know. So when they were born, I decided, you know, I'm going to dedicate my time for them and spend time with them. And, and, and like I said, you know, no money would, uh, would uh, uh, no money would do that, you know. Like, like I said, spending a day with your, your kids and telling them that you love them and hugging them, there's no money, you know, or nothing else bigger than that, you know. To me, I just said, it's not going to happen the same thing that happened to me, you know. I'm going to be there for them, and I've been dedicating myself to them, and, and I'm super happy that I, I've been doing that. Like I say, you know, to us, it was just a game. I never thought they were going to be world champions, not even a second. I don't come from a boxing family. I don't come from a, somebody that does sports. You know, I, to us, it was just an accident. I just dedicated myself and, and like a sponge, trying to learn every day, and I still keep learning. And to us, it was just a game, and we just won, kept winning and winning and winning, and amateurs keep winning, winning, and, and professionals. They're undefeated fighters. Uh, I have Jose Benavides, the youngest Golden Glove champion, the youngest to sign with top rank, and then David, the youngest super middleweight in history to win the WBC belt. And this, man, it, it's, it's just, I get chills, man, you know. Uh, sometimes I gotta slap myself just to wake up. I think I'm, an, I'm living a dream, even though it, it already happened, but I, I still, it, it still doesn't kick in. But we haven't done nothing yet, you know, I think, uh, I, I don't know, man. We have a lot to do, man. We haven't done anything. We got to keep working hard. And now the fights get harder, and, and it, it's unbelievable. You know, it, it's just, uh, in my mind, we haven't gone anywhere. Uh, people tell me that they're really talented. People tell me that they're really good. In my mind, doesn't doesn't kick in. You know, we're nothing. You, we just keep training every day. We try to get better every day. You know, like I say, you know, uh, we're super simple people. Uh, you know, like I say, you know, I respect everybody. 
that w the most important for me is for them to be good people and get back to the community and be good role models for the kids and 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 uh, for me, when I hear uh, somebody older that says, "Yeah, you got good kids. They got good manners. You know, they're really good people." That's for me. That's it. That I'm paid.